So if you're heading to the Nooner at the Nat or doing anything outdoors, how maybe about, a little rugby. How about rugby at Swan Guard mm -hmm. Stadium? Watch Team Canada play. Now, we have James and, uh, and Evan here from Team Canada. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Both of them have non-Canadian accents, so I'm going to ask, how, what are your Canadian roots? Let's uh, start with you, Evan. So I was born in North Vancouver. My dad was big at the Capilano Rugby Club, and then he took a job in Sydney, Australia when I was three, so we moved out there, and I just come back and forth for rugby now. Right. So your Canadian roots are rich, and you yeah. bring it back to play for Team Canada. Absolutely. James, what about you? My grandfather was born and raised out in uh, just outside of Regina in Saskatchewan, so uh, that's where I'm of my Canadian roots come from and I spent a bit of time living out there before uh, I now live in the UK play professionally over there so and again same as Evan I'm back and forth uh, for Canadian duties when called upon when called upon and you will be called upon today at Swan Guard Stadium very exciting for fans to come out and see you play Tonga this is a tough uh, team to take on. Absolutely, yeah. They're a big physical team, you know, very direct, big bodies. So it's going to be a, it'll be an interesting contest. You know, we've obviously got things to work on from our last game. So yeah, really looking forward to the challenge. Tuning up for the World Cup, which is really the penultimate. It is. It's a pinnacle for I think every rugby player's sort of career. They want to play at a World Cup. Doesn't matter if you're Canadian or whether you're all, like, all around the world. Um, as a kid, when you sort of start playing rugby. The World Cup is the pinnacle, and uh, we've got that coming up in the next couple of months. So these games are basically a trial run just uh, to get the team settled and the squad chosen to uh, head over to England, uh, where it's going to be, and uh, yeah, and uh, basically represent Canada. You got the tune, the tune up. This is a big deal, and if you love a hard-hitting, fast-paced, wow, I don't think there are tougher athletes on the planet than rugby players like when it comes right down to it how do you prepare yourself physically for the game of rugby yep so a lot of work in the gym a lot of work on the track getting fit you also then have to do lots of stretching flexibility um, Pritch is very big on this he's in great shape much better than clearly myself. in great shape <laughs> uh, yeah so yeah there's a lot of work that happens you know we've got strength and conditioning coaches a physio team to just make sure we all stay healthy so yeah. If you've never actually witnessed a rugby game, it is like a hybrid of soccer and the pace. You guys are constantly running. Then there's scrum and ruck, which it looks like you're wrestling and battling it out on the field. And then you've got how the ball is moved. And we wanted to show, Greg Harper's all keen on this. We wanted to show, because forward movement, unlike football, where you want to throw it downfield, yeah. not allowed in rugby. No, you have to pass flat or backwards. So, okay, so I got to be yeah, either, so, yeah, either a little behind. And this and is the lateral. Yeah, so you, this is a pretty short one. And yeah. just point your fingers to where you want the ball to go. Oh, I went ahead. I'm yeah. out. You've done this before. There you go. <laughs> I just had to send one <laughs> back there. There you go. I uh, made them promise no scrums or rucks because those are uh, vicious. And, and if kids are getting involved in rugby, what do we need to do to prepare ourselves? Because there are some head injuries. We did speak to that. It is a tough game. There are no helmets worn. So it is a concern for some parents. Those kids really want to play the game. What's the advice? It is. But um, look, there's a lot of great sort of junior clubs around, a lot of great junior coaches. And as long as kids are taught from an early age the correct techniques, uh, there is no danger. It is no more dangerous than sort of uh, baseball, hockey, anything like that. Um, it's all about sort of learning the right techniques at an early age, practicing them, and uh, look, there's nothing to worry about when it comes to sort of injury-wise because uh, when you're sort of taught how to tackle properly, how to get your head in the right position, those sort of things like head knocks sort of really don't become a factor. Right, play the game right, good coaches, good system, great rugby system for Team Canada, nationally and particularly locally. Thanks, guys. Thank really appreciate much. the chat. Good luck Thank tonight with Tonga, Swan Guard Stadium, 7 o'clock. If you'd like to be a part of the Pacific Nations Cup at Swan Guard, head down there, take the kids. It is such a kid-friendly event, and it is really, truly a, a spectacle of sport to watch people play at this level.